Hey everyone, my name is Lovestar, welcome back to my channel. Now the winter season is coming up which means that I'm in the mood to build something cozy. So today I wanted to bring you guys a creative video in which I'm going to be building a fairy core themed library slash cafe. So feel free to join along as I'm building or make something of your own, and I do hope you guys like this build because I think it turned out super cute. Oh, and I have my tea today, which is in this adorable little cat mug. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get on with the build. Alright, we are in our world, and today I'm going to be working inside of this beautiful coniferous forest, if I'm even pronouncing that right, and this is a biome from Biomes of Plenty. So yeah, this place is really pretty, and it looks super cozy, and it's perfect for a little fairy cafe library. So I am really inspired here by Barnes & Nobles, I think, honestly. So we're gonna be doing something like that, but obviously more fairy core and fantasy so I think I'm gonna build right here and I kind of want to build it around a tree just so you guys know I really have like no plan um I'm just building kind of just winging it that's how I like to build first I think I'm gonna make kind of like a little round structure um this is gonna be pretty I guess natural so it's not gonna be like a perfect building or anything I think I want it to be kind of like a big tree stump. I'm not going to be focusing too much on the outside, I don't think, so the exterior is not really the focal point. I think I'm going to do mostly just the interior. I'm going to just build around these trees and make it kind of a big stump. So I want to have three main spaces. I want to have a library section, um, a cafe section where you can actually order the food, and um, a seating area. And for the seating area, I think it'll be cute if we do a little outdoor area and an indoor area. So I think I might do it like around here. So then you can go out to the river um, if you really want to. So yeah, this is probably where we're gonna do the seating area outside. And I'm going to build up the walls just a little bit. So I'm gonna do um, an uneven wall so they're not all the same height because this is gonna be kind of like an open tree stump, if that makes sense. Kind of like a carved out log, I suppose. Um, but it'll still connect to the trees and I'll put leaves around. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of an archway here, and I'm gonna see what the fur wood looks like. Okay, so it's pretty gray. Um, I think I want something that matches this actual log a little more. So I'm gonna look up all the planks that we have access to, and we have a lot. I think the acacia wood looks pretty similar to the log. Uh, it's still a little bit brighter but I don't really have that much of a good match. We could use maybe, I think spruce is gonna be too dark. Yeah, no, that's too dark. Oak is too warm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the acacia since it's gray in this texture pack, which is Mizuno's. We could use some of these uh, dead logs. These dead logs are kind of like a darker variation of the fur. So I think that actually works pretty well. And then we have like some light tones, mid tones, and dark tones. So that could make everything look a little bit more um, cohesive, I guess. All right, so we have our stump. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger on this side. Okay, I really like this so far. I think it's super cozy already. All right, I set the time to noon so we have a little bit more direct sunlight, even though it's really shady in this place, but we have just a little bit of light here at least. Alright, so now I think I'm gonna section off the different areas, and I think I'm gonna do that with a nice floor. So I want to do kind of like a purple color palette, purple pink maybe, because we want it to look pretty fairy core and magical. Alright, so I have these purple planks from Cluttered and Terracotta and Concrete Powder. So I think I'm gonna do um, these two lighter and more warm tones for the cafe. So I might put this here. And then have it kind of slowly uh, fade into the darker purples. 
so this part is where you're going to order your food and we can have the seating area right on this side and we can go outside we can make like a little opening here like that and over here is going to be the outdoor seating area so this part is going to be the library so this part is going to have more of the darker wood i'm going to pour some water so we can get rid of all of the grass i think what i want to do is kind of have an extension of a tree here so it kind of looks like there is a tree within this building and then we can try to connect it to the trees that are above us. I'm not too experienced with making custom trees, um, but you know, I think it kind of gets the idea down. I might make this part a little skinnier. I like that. Okay, so now we can add, um, I'm gonna get rid of some of these leaves here and make like some branches. Now we can grab these leaves and just cover it up a little bit more. Alright, I think this looks pretty good for starters. Um, so, now that we have a bit more of an overhang, I'm gonna grab some chains and lanterns. And we're gonna add a little bit of light. Oh, that looks super cute. Okay, so now that we have our tree kind of done, I mean, we're kind of just jumping around from <laughs> parts of the build so we can check back on it later and see it with kind of a fresh perspective. So now I'm gonna continue working on the floor. And I just realized that all my concrete turned into actual concrete. <laughs> so now I have to place it back. Luckily we didn't place everything yet, so that kind of worked out in our favor. So I'm actually using the exact same mod uh, mods that I'm using for my new Let's Play, which is my <laughs> Life of a Cottage Fae, is what I've chosen to call it. So it's a combination between Fairy Core and Cottage Core. So if you haven't watched my new Let's Play yet, please do check it out because it's pretty relaxing and very chill. Yeah, I wanted to just do something a little bit more creative on my channel, just as a kind of change of pace. You know, since I've been doing so much survival, um, I think it's also nice to do some creative stuff here and there because I, I don't really build that many cool things in survival, so I really like to get on creative sometimes and just mess around with it, especially since we have so many nice mods to play around with. So, alright, that is the floor done. I think I might add some carpets here and there just to add some uh, elevation texture. But now we're going to work on this side. And there's this flowering version of these um, purple planks, which is super cute. It's like super fitting. So I'm going to use just a combination of both of them. Now I think I'll add some moss just so it looks a little bit more green in here. Ooh, that's pretty cute. Okay, that's nice. And then we can add some carpet. So I'm gonna add purple carpet and just kind of place it here and there. We might have to get rid of some of this once we actually start adding the building or once we actually start decorating, but you know, just to get the idea down. All right, so now we have kind of our spaces separated. I'm gonna work on the cafe first. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually use these uh, logs as kind of like the counter. So something like that. And then we can have, ooh, look at this. We have retro cafe stained glass. Oh, that's kind of cute. I think we can use that somewhere. We also have a cafe shelf, so obviously we need that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna probably... You know what? This honestly could look good in the library section, so I might just place it like here for now. And then we can add maybe some sort of display. Oh yes, pastry display case. That is perfect. Oh, 
that's so adorable. Okay, so we're gonna have some pastries. Um, honestly, that looks good there. And we have these item shelves. So I think we can place, let's say we can, can grab a coffee. And these are placed like that. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out how we can do this. Um, Okay, so I actually used these timber frames. I think this could be good for displaying the drinks. And we're gonna have a little row for drinks here. So we're gonna have coffee and we can also add tea. Green tea. We could have a mocha milkshake, Napol Napolitano. <laughs> I think I'll add a chocolate milkshake. Oh, that's so small. Okay, maybe not there. Okay, we'll add the teas. And... Ooh, we can actually place these down. We can do that on top. Okay, we can add a cappuccino. Ooh, and we can also have ice cream. I'm gonna add... Hmm, Napoli Napolitano ice cream. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so now we have all of our displays. And I gotta pick this up. Okay, so now we need like some sort of cash register. I think what I'm gonna do is actually use one of these record players as our cashier. You know what? It works. <laughs> At least it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so this is our register done. Um, I'm going to add some decorations. So first we can add a shelf and in the back we can add this little shelf thing. So I'm gonna put it here. Maybe like like that. And then on top of this we can have some more stuff. So I'm gonna put some books and I'm actually going to expand this shelf a little bit. And put some jars and some more shelves. We also have a little radio, that's cute. Okay, and I'm putting a little jar down here as a tip jar. Now I want to place some of these leaves kind of as like a little garland just to frame the space more. We can connect this to this tree over here. I think that looks pretty nice. And we can maybe hang, yes, we can hang these pretty little garlands. Okay, I think that works. All right, now that the register area is done, we can work on the inside where all the magic happens. So first I think we need some countertops. Luckily we have quite a few options. I'm honestly not a big fan of any of these because they don't really match the color palette. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these dead logs and use it as our countertop. So we're just going to line basically the entire wall here because we probably need as much space as we can get. Alright, I'm adding a few lamps here. Ooh, that one's really bright. Okay, I'm gonna put this on top here because we just need a little bit more light in here. So now we want this place to probably look a little bit messy. So I'm going to add some cups here and there. Alright, so now we can add some cute machines. We have coffee press, coffee machine, blender, and an ice cream maker. So I'm going to add our little coffee station. Like that. We can also add some of these. Place that on there. And a mug. 
We also have a kettle that we can place on top of a stove. So we also need our stove, so I think I'm gonna put it here. It's pretty crowded, but you know, that's how the cafe works. I think I'm gonna move this blender. Put it there. I'm gonna replace this block like this. That creates a little bit more space, at least on the counter. I'm gonna turn this around and place a glass behind. Now we can also add these stacks. So I'm gonna probably just place the coffee beans and the tea leaves over here. And on this side, we're gonna make a little bit of a shelf counter space where we can add some more food. So I'm gonna place a coffee cake, a rose hip pie, and of course we need a little cinnamon bun. <laughs> There's also a chocolate cheesecake, which I'm going to place over here. Oh, we also have this cute coffee grinder. Look at how cute these little hanging things are, <laughs> oh my god. They're even like 3D, which is really cool. Alright, lastly, for the cafe, I'm gonna place down this little poster. We can also add a few paintings. Alright, this is the most cluttered kitchen. I've ever seen, but I actually love it. I would totally go to a cafe like this. What about you guys? What would you order from this cafe? I would probably get, I think this mocha milkshake. And I would order a cinnamon bun, but without glaze, because I don't like the glaze. <laughs> okay, anyway, now that we're done with the cafe area, we're going to make a seating place. So I'm gonna get rid of some of this grass over here. And let's get some tables and chairs, so. We have these really cute classic tables, which I really like. I think they're gonna totally fit the aesthetic of this place. But I'm also gonna probably get a few more. Actually, these are really cute. Now we're also gonna get some stools. We have these little logs, which are cute. We can also try these little classic looking ones. All right, so let's see which one we like. I like these. And I also like these, and I'm going to use a combination of both of them. And these stools can be good for outside. Um, these are actually way too big, so I think I'm just going to stick with the little stumps. We're going to add a little bit of a bookshelf on the corner here, so people can still read if they want to. And I'm going to add probably a little table here, which you can actually <laughs> actually sit on, which is really cute. I'm gonna add a few bookshelves and, of course, a little lantern, which I'm gonna put there. Very cute. Okay, now... Okay, check out this glazed pot. Oh my god, that is so cute! Alright, let's do the outdoor seating area now, so I'm going to actually place some fences. Make sure everyone is safe. Now we can grab some moss and grow it. Alright, so I'm gonna place some leaves as garlands again. Okay, it's raining now, uh, which means it got pretty dark, so I'm gonna actually focus on placing some lanterns, and we're probably gonna need quite a lot in here.
It's kind of like fairy lights, but not really, because I don't actually have any fairy lights in this mod. In this mod pack. Which is a little unfortunate, but you know, we make duo what we got. And lanterns, they definitely are nice. I'm gonna add another one right here. There we go. Now, we can also add some vines. So we can wait for those to grow. Now we can add our tables and chairs. So I'm actually going to use some of the bigger ones here. Ooh, and they actually make big tables, which is awesome. So I'm going to place a two by two here for the bigger parties. And we're going to place some small ones over here for the little couple dates or whatnot. And we can have another big one here. This one is going to be for five people. Then we can have another little date one here. And I don't want to overcrowd this place too much. So all the customers are, you know, with the right amount of privacy. So I think that that one's going to be my last one. And maybe we'll just make it a single one for the, the, the people without a date. How sad. <laughs> Now I'm going to also place some Ferdinand's flowers to make this place a little more colorful. Alright, I'm going to place a few vines to decorate this place, make it look a little bit more green. This is so cute already! Now we can't forget about the dead logs, so I'm going to add a few of those. Okay, I just found this adorable bench. Check that out, that is so cute. So we can sit here while we're waiting for our food. Super perfect. I'm also gonna add some stacks of books so if someone can grab something to read while they're waiting for their food. I just discovered these stumps, which are so cute. I'm gonna actually place some of them and I'm not going to replace all of these other ones because we can have a little bit of variation. But they're so adorable! Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, so now we can work on the actual library, which is the fun part because I get to place bookshelves. Also, check out this grandfather clock. Whoa! I think I'm going to place this somewhere, maybe here. And then surrounding it, we can place some bookshelves. Oh my god, that is so cool. And it actually tells the time. It's 6pm right now. We can also have a little potion shelves for people who want to do some magic. Alright, so we have all of our bookshelves placed, and I'm going to place a few stumps just in case anyone wants to sit down while they're reading. And we can also have a little ladder in case anyone needs that. 
Now I'm gonna decorate the outside just a little bit with some leaves. And some vines. Alright, I'm gonna add a little bit of magenta carpet here in the middle just to give this place a little bit more warmth. And under, I'm gonna sneak in some glowstone, so this place is a little bit more bright. And now I think we obviously need some candles. Alright, well, I think that is the library done. So I think this turned out super cute. It is so cozy. It's pretty small, but it has just so much detail. And yeah, I really love how this turned out. So please let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. And if it inspired you, you're free to use this build, of course. And yeah, so let me give you just a quick little rundown. So we have the entrance. Then we come inside and we can go to the library, which is so cute. Like, look at all of these little books and shelves and paintings. And we have this grandfather clock, which is really cool. And a little chair where you can sit down and read by the candlelight. And then we can go grab some food once we're hungry. So we can sit here, wait for our order, read some newspapers. Then we can order at the register and look at all these options. We have so many pastries. So we come inside the kitchen and there's just so much stuff. Like, look at all of this clutter. You can tell that this place gets pretty busy. We have a lot of machines and cups, coffees everywhere, food. And lastly, of course, once you actually get your food, you can come over here and take a little seat, drink your tea. But I'm gonna go outside so we can show you this. Look at how cute this is. I'm gonna sit here in the sun and I'm going to have my tea and my cake. But yeah, guys, that is my build done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. And if you want to see more building in the future, I really appreciate you watching and I will see you all next time.